Scientists claim to have finally found proof which shows the Moon was created during a spectacular collision billions of years ago. While the Earth is thought to have formed more than 4.5 billion years ago, scientists believe the Moon came millions of years later, after an object the size of Mars smashed into the young planet. Now researchers say a layer of iron and other material deep in the Earth's interior is proof the Moon formed from the remnants. The giant impact hypothesis suggests that a huge protoplanet called the smashed into the Earth within its first few hundred million years of forming. According to the hypothesis, the collision would have caused a huge amount of debris to be ejected from the core, with the effusing and becoming part of the Earth and the Moon forming from the debris. While the impact is the leading hypothesis, hard evidence has been lacking. Researchers at Johns Hopkins University used seismic data of the planetary core in Rocky Mantle, revealing a layer of iron, silicon, oxygen and other elements hundreds of kilometers thick. Simulations in the lab reveal that following a collision event, mixing between the object and Earth's planetary core would have left a footprint in the form of a stratified layer, like that seen close to the core today. We're saying this stratified layer might be the smoking gun, said Professor Peter Olson, an Earth and planetary sciences researcher at Johns Hopkins. Its properties are consistent with it being a vestige of that impact, he added. Our experiments bring additional evidence in favor of the giant impact hypothesis, said Dr. Melis Lando, lead author of the paper, now based at the University of Cambridge. They demonstrate that the giant impact scenario also explains the stratification inferred by seismology at the top of the present-day Earth's core. This result ties the present-day structure of Earth's core to its formation. In order to test the hypothesis, the group simulated the mixing with liquids to recreate the turbulent mixing which would have taken place in the proto-Earth. They used layers of non-mixing fluids in inside a tank, including oil and water, to represent the mantle and the core. Over a series of 60 experiments they dropped saline or ethanol into the tanks to simulate the collision and monitored the subsequent mixing which took place. They showed that the larger the density and volume of liquid dropped into the tank, the more mixing took place. When compared to the early collision event, it means that if a large enough object would have hit Earth, the entire core would be a mix of material, whereas if an object equivalent to the size of Mars or smaller, like Thea, hit the Earth, then the mixing would result in the layers seen deep in the planet's interior today.